What's up guys, this is Hotdive7RCT bringing you another video and this time around we hit the Shoot 'em Ups Crossfire 2018 once again this time with another Psycho Shooter uh, Shoot 'em Up Samurai Aces now <clears throat> this one came out recently I think it was a week or two ago <clears throat> I picked it up but I haven't been able to cover it and that's why I'm doing it now not a particular, uh, particularly advanced shoot 'em up in the sense of having like these amazing uh, full screen bullet hell effects and stuff like that. But it, it is a classic title. It is a classic title from Psycho, and one that has a couple of uh, interesting notes. One of them being um, that uh, this is kind of like the precursor to the series Tengai. Now Tengai is completely different from this one because this one is a, a vertical shoot 'em up going from down to up and in that sense Tengai is completely the opposite. That's horizontal shooter but there is a connection here because the, the characters from Samurai Aces they play a role or they star in Tengai as well. Um, aside from that, there's this particular um, thing with one of the characters. I gotta remember the name. I think it's Mika. In which, in this game, Samurai Aces, uh, she starts out as being a tomboyish kind of a monk temple guard or something like that. And when she makes the transition to Tengai, she's completely different. She's like completely more adult, more voluptuous, so to speak. Not going into too many details because when Tengai comes out, that I'm going to be all over that one as well. So without further ado, there's a, another little detail I want to show you guys, but that one has to be in game in order for it to have the full effect. So let's go here into Samurai Aces. Oh yeah, loving the tune. Let's go to full screen here since we don't have much of screen real estate due to the vertical nature of the game. See, at least they were kind enough to kind of like give a nice little ambient decor to the whole unused space outside of the gameplay screen which I appreciate that because uh, some companies they just throw in a game they poured it over and just you know bare bones and this one they seem to put a little bit more care which is cool because it is a pretty nice game now ha the second point that I wanted to make Keep your eyes peeled. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Check that little ship, that little yellow ship that Gadget Gen is using. Wait till you see this, uh, um, the screenshot of it in the intro. They replicated the X-Wing fighter. Look at this. That's Miko. Check it out. X-Wing fighter. <laughs> they ripped off the X-Wing fighter. They change a little bit of uh, the coloring and stuff, but it's the X-Wing. I mean, it's unmistakable. But that's a funny little thing to have that. That's a fun little uh, detail of the game. It doesn't take away from the game, though, because the game is pretty rocking. I think I already did everything that I was going to do. Yep, yep, yep. So let's go for it. normal 
This is easy, very easy. Child monkey. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm keeping it normal. And since I mentioned it, I'm going to use it here so you guys can check it out. Now, the character I was talking about... Oh, oh. Almost missed it, though. Miko is the character that I was talking about. Man, how I wish I was playing this with the arcade stick. Man, arcade stick. I was going to order it this week. Once again, snafu with some stuff that I had to pay. So that's going to have to wait for, oh, for a little while longer. But I'll get there, guys. I swear I'll get there and I'm going to do something special. I have something special planned for that arcade stick. In terms of videos that I'm going to do for you guys. As you can see, just like every other psycho shooter out there, this is fast paced. It doesn't let up for a second. And these cross pattern bullet um, paths are freaking insane. Look at that. These shoot 'em ups were never meant to have incredible storylines or anything like that. This is like just to the point. Go in there. Because they were always meant as quarter munches, you know. Something you could play in just a minute or two. Maybe less if they keep destroying you. But that's the whole point. I mean, that's the whole point for you to. Throw in more quarters until you completely dominate the game. But by the time you learn the game, you learn how to dominate it, it has already taken a toll in your pocket pretty badly. But since I'm not spending credits because I spent the money already on the game, I don't really care. And since I'm not here, at least not with this game. I'm not here to prove my prowess with uh, with one credit or any of that stuff. I'm here to have fun with the game, even if I, as you can see, I'm starting to suck at it. It doesn't really matter. I really don't care. thing I have to get used to and that's my fault because I should do that ahead of time before showing these or making these videos for you guys is the fact that inside OBS when I record shoot 'em ups especially using this controller wireless controller there's a, a little bit of a delay input delay that makes controlling it a little bit sluggish but it's not the game's fault just the nature of the recording in OBS plus the wireless controller something that I hope to remedy having the, oh, the arcade stick or at least to an extent yeah, game over that's it That is a, as far as I go with Mr. Gen. Now I'm still hoping for some cave shoot-em-ups. Still haven't seen anything 
on the horizon. I hope they come in soon because just like I I wanted to collect um, just like I wanted to collect Psycho shooters, I want to collect also um, cave shooter maps. So let's go in here and no, I, I want to do normal Miko. Here you go. See, Miko even looks like a boy. But when you see the difference between this Miko and the one that comes out in Tengai, oh my god, it's like, eesh. And remember guys, once Tengai appears for purchase on the Switch, which I, of course I'm going to get, hopefully they'll bring out all three, um, I'm going to make the, the comparison, I'm going to show it to you guys. I mean, it's not a big deal or anything, it's just that I find it completely funny how from one game to the other, the character can change so much. Getting the hang of it, and I had to say that. All right. All, in all doing a little bit better than the first run. That's to be expected. Get that bomb, dude. Awesome. And I don't have any bombs. Fuck. Oh, now I do. right into that one. Oh my god. Not good guys. And that's gonna be it guys played the whole game with all the characters because I want you guys to check it out so let's move back here that is another one of the classics of the Psycho lineup so far they've had some pretty awesome uh, entries budget wise and of course, you know, classic titles that are really not expensive. These go, these games go for about $7.99, so it's, it's pretty good to add to the, the collection. Not really sure here how many of them I've gotten so far, at least on the Psycho side. Have that one, Samurai Aces, Zero Gunner, of course, Strikers 1945, what else? Gunbird. And yeah, I think that's that's about it on the Psycho side. No, no, Psycho's 45, 1945, the first one and second one. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick showing of uh, Samurai Aces. Uh, really fun shoot 'em ups, uh, just like all shoot 'em ups in general. But um, the Psycho ones have this 
intensity and this adrenaline rush kind of feel to it that's very very similar way up there with uh, cave shoot em ups but Saikyo, Saikyo and particularly Takumi um, shoot em ups have that um, difficulty spike that you need to adjust first before you start feeding the you know uh, the wave or the mojo of kind of beating the game you need to really get into that difficulty curve because it's fast paced it doesn't let up it's not going to wait for you to kind of get used to it so bear that in mind when you buy it be prepared to die a lot but have tons of fun at the same time so remember guys please like and subscribe um, I'll see you guys next time in the next shoot em ups crossfire I hope you guys enjoyed this. Share the video. I really appreciate it. Small YouTuber here trying to make it out. So thanks a lot, guys. Take care.